Hi, my name is Phil. Today we actually got an opportunity to try out a Warmly Yours brand new twin conductor. That means that there's a single lead that goes back to our thermostat. Um, we got our thermostat, we got our floor sensor, and we're going to be using our edge strip kits to perimeter the room um, for using a self leveler. Of course, we got a primer for our self leveler. For all installations, it's very important to just take a damp sponge and wipe it down, wipe down your floor. Make sure there's no bond breaking, dust, or any other debris. Because we're using self level, it's very important to use the primer. So I actually like to use it directly right out of the container, full strength. We got a little mini roller here. We're going to make sure that we get full coverage with no puddles, allow this to completely dry. Okay, we're back and our primer is completely dry. So our first step, our edge strip kit. Very easy peel stick. There's absolutely no waste, and they'll cut simply with the standard utility knife. Okay, this area here, by the actual floor register, we can use our edge strips and actually go over the floor register that, again, will be easily cut out with a knife. This way, we'll make sure that the self over does not go into the floor register. Up against the tub, the actual um, edge strip works as like a soft joint. The self leveler, if it expands, it's absorbed right within the edge strip. Perfect use up against the bathtub. Okay, this area around the toilet collar also, we're making sure that the self leveler doesn't go down so we can perimeter the outside of the collar. And then again, we're ensuring that the self leveler stays where we want. It actually keeps a safe distance of the floor heat away from the wax ring. The use of an edge strip right here at the door threshold is again to contain our self leveler from getting out into the carpet in the area. Done. Okay, we're going to be doing three resistance tests. The first one is right here before we actually move the mat. It's 14.9. It absolutely says 14.9 right on our mat. We're going to put that in our manual and we're going to take two other readings. One right after we've had it all spread out and a second one after our self leveler. At that point there's no way there could be any damage to this mat um, at the tile stage. Okay, starting right here at the tub, we're going to roll down, um, make a 180 and come all the way back here. We'll kind of test fit it. Normally yours actually provides a tape that's on the mat and it will stick good to our prime surface. Okay, we're going to be doing a 180 turn here so we actually make sure that you never touch that blue heating element. Cut away from it. And then we'll turn the mat. 180, and we'll start rolling back this way. This area right here around our toilet collar, you can see that we're actually on top of the, the trim. Um, we'll make sure that we free wire right here in front of the toilet. There's no need, and it should not have a heating element underneath the toilet bowl. We'll turn around, come back, and we'll catch the rest of the room. All right, we were able to field test our, our coverage. We got great coverage. What's great with this brand new uh, mat from Warmly Yours is it's got a peel and stick tape. So when we free wire, we'll be able to just use the tape. We probably will not have to even use a staple gun or a hot glue gun. This is wonderful material. All right, now we're um, able to just pull our code lead. Um, I mentioned we have two pieces of conduit. The second one will be for our sensor. All right, our second stick of conduit is for our floor sensor. Um, we're gonna bring it through the edge strips. We're gonna actually weave it and install it somewhere in between um, a loop. We're out in the, uh, the room a little bit. I want to make sure we stay away from any artificial heat. So the heat source or maybe even by the windows. So maybe we'll install it right about here. Warmly Yours provides a tool called a circuit chip. 
And if you hear that noise anytime during the installation, that's the time to stop. That means we've compromised a wire that can be field um, repaired, but much easier. We put this other wire in here, hook it up, no sound, that's good news. What's awesome about this new twin mat is there's a peel stick tape. Again, we're using self leveler, so we have this prime surface. This tape sticks wonderfully. Quick and easy install. In the event that you have one part of the mesh or something that doesn't want to cooperate, very simple. A staple gun will just keep it down below the level of the self leveler. Alrighty, um, we mixed up our self level now, now we're ready to pour. Just stay back away from the strips, oh, 8 to 10 inches or so. Allow the material to pour right up to the strips. We're here the second day, self leveler is completely dry, very smooth. Look at the transition here against the edge strip kits and uh, our floor. It'll be very easy to tile over this. Alrighty, we're done with our commitment here on the tile guy. We'll have no problem tiling over our, our uh, floor heating system. I want to thank Warmly Yours for providing this twin system. It was an excellent material to work with. Also, if you have any questions whatsoever about the Edstrip Kits, make sure that you contact me personally, phil at edstripkits.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions or feel any of your comments. Now it's time to enjoy this floor. Thanks a lot for watching.